Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here. If you like our channel, please consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon so you will be notified when future videos go live. The focus of today's video is Synology and to be more specific, backing up our precious data to our Synology device. By the way, if you want, if you want to know more about Synology in general, Please be sure to check out our other videos and future videos. We will be covering Synology throughout the channel on all of its capabilities and all of the additional applications. So the, the main focus of today's video is backing up our precious data and critical data to our backup destination, which is our Synology device. Synology offers plenty of tools and applications to make backing up data really fast, really easy, it can back up our uh, local data on our computers, it can, it can back up virtual machines, file servers, whatever you want. Our focus today is backing up PC data to our Synology device and the, and the tool that we'll be covering today is the Active Backup for Business application which is available for download for free for all Synology owners from the package center. Once we download the package, we will configure it a little bit and we will see how to back up efficiently and easily and we can, we can be rest assured that our data is safe and restorable. So let's jump right into our, to our computer and see how this is done. All right, here we have a, a, a Windows 10 a, a desktop. In this case, it's a virtual machine, but it can be a physical desktop or a visual or a virtual machine, whatever you want. This computer is almost vanilla, but I also uh, uh, already created a folder in this computer that contains, uh, for this purpose, a sample of our critical data. These files are all empty, but uh, the concept is uh, uh, taking this data and backing it up and being able to restore it. Let's jump to our Synology device. For full disclosure, I will say that this uh, Synology device is also a virtual machine. It's running as a virtual machine on top of a physical, uh, real Synology device, and we will cover that in a future video. Let's log right in. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to the package center and download the Active Backup for Business application. Now, a few other things we want to, uh, uh, to prepare in order to make the, uh, the backing up process more efficient and uh, a, little more, a little more customized. A few things that I recommend, of course you don't have to do it, but I really recommend creating a user account and not using the, uh, the built-in uh, built admin account. So we will create a user. Give it a password. Make sure the password is strong. The, the system will also and by default add it to the users group. I don't recommend adding it to the administrators group. It doesn't need all these permissions. We will give it read and write access to the active backup for business shared folder that the application creates automatically. And we will just breeze through uh, uh, the entire uh, user creation wizard. All right, so the user is, is created and now we can go to our back Active Backup for Business application which was already installed and we will see that the application creates two new uh, uh, icons for us. One is the main application and the other is the restore portal which we'll see in a later demonstration of the video. Let's open up the Active Backup for Business application. We will have to go through a process of activation, but 
you don't need anything but your Synology account. That's it. The, the application and all of its capabilities are completely free. We'll need to accept the terms. Log in with our Synology credentials. If you don't have an account, we, you will need to create one. All right, and it's activated. Now, as you can see in this main, in this main window, we can backup PCs, we can backup servers, file servers, virtual machines. We will go through each and every one of the capabilities in a separate video. But one more thing we will need to do before we start the backup in uh, process. Again, this is completely uh, optional. You don't have to do it, but I like to create templates. A, a template is a sort of a, a predefined settings for a, for a, a computer's a, a backup task. We will create and uh, give it a name, test template. It applies to, this means uh, on which users this template will be uh, applying to. If you remember, we created a user and we added it to the built-in users group. So we'll add that in. The default device type is PC. We are uh, backing up a PC. So this is the, the default device type. The shared folder on which to create the backup data. And now we can a little bit fine tune uh, the backup task. I don't want to backup external hard drives, for example. And I only want to backup the system volume. You don't have to. That's just for demonstration purposes. I'll click next, I'll create a schedule, I want it to run daily at 3 a.m., that's fine for me. I don't want to keep all versions, I want to keep for this purpose only the last three versions. Alright, that's enough for me for, for this purpose. Apply, and now the template is created, and we can go ahead and apply it once we connect our PC to our Synology device. So, in order to make the connection between the computer and the Synology device, we will need to click here on Add Device, and this will also give us a, a, a link to download the agent on which we'll need to install on our computer. Let's download the 64-bit version and go ahead and install it. The installation is very easy, nothing too technical. Let's view the template. All right, we can see that the template is here and waiting for us. Let's let the application install itself. Minimize the browser window. And you see that the agent was successfully installed, but we will need to configure it a little bit. So what the agent wants from us is the server address. You can put in an IP address or a, a DNS name if you're running in a, a Active Directory environment. We will use the IP address. The username. Here we will uh, specify the username we have created. Again, you don't have to, but I simply do not uh, recommend using the default admin account for anything other than administrating the system. So let's put in our username and the password. Since we are not using certificates, we will get this warning. By the way, it's very easy to configure uh, the Synology to use certificate and it's free from Let's Encrypt. We will cover that in a future video. So let's proceed anyway for now. We, we get a sort of a review and we'll click OK. All right, the connection between our PC and the Synology device is made and we can see in our Synology application, we can see that the computer is now uh, connected and the template will be, uh, will be applied and we can also check the task list to see the specifications or the settings of the, uh, of the backup task that was automatically created. And as you can see, since our user 
was in the users group and the template we created was applied to the users group. We can see our specifications here only to back up the system volume and our schedule was applied to the, uh, to the backup task. Our retention is as exactly as we configured it and we can click OK. So we would don't want to wait for the next schedule uh, uh, backup task uh, trigger. We can start the backup process manually right here. Let's click backup. And now we can see uh, uh, that the backup task is starting. Of course, we will not wait for it to complete because the first backup job is also uh, is uh, always very, uh, let's say, takes more time because it's backing up everything, everything, our entire system drive. By the way, the, the main advantage of this uh, uh, backing up the system drive is uh, being able, Synology gives us the option to create a boot drive and in case our computer completely crashes and we need to uh, 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 purchase a new hard drive, we can use this boot drive and completely restore our system, including the operating system itself and the data. We will cover that again in a future video because I don't want to uh, 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 swing off the uh, subject uh, too much. All right, so I will cut uh, the recording right here and I will continue it once the backup is done. All right, so the backup task is done. It took about, about eight or 10 minutes. The next backup will only take a few minutes, a minute or two, depending on the amount of, of the amount of changes because it will be incremental. So the first backup always takes several minutes. The next incremental backups will take a lot less time. So the backup is ready. And now let's see how we can restore our data in case of, of, uh, of data loss. And let's create a data loss. Let's go to the folder, select all the files and shift delete them. They are gone. They're not even in the recycle bin. And now we want to restore them. It's very, very easy, very straightforward. Let's double click on the Synology Active Backup for Business Agent icon. And from here we can restore, uh, we can uh, launch the restore portal. Again, we will need to create to, uh, 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 to click through this certificate error again, because we are not using certificates, but we can. Let's log in. And now we are presented with a very, uh, uh, as much as it can be intuitive as I have, uh, as I have seen, it's very intuitive. And now we can see our entire backup data, including our critical data folder. And we can simply select all of our files, click on restore, click OK. And the system will, in, in a matter of seconds, depending on the amount of data, will restore it back to its original location. In fact, let's see it. Let's cl close our, uh, our uh, browser. And now we can see that the files have appeared back in their original location. We can open and see the data. And that's how easy it is to backup data and restore data. So that was the Active Backup for Business PC backup section of the, of the application. We will cover, for example, the, the, the application ability to backup virtual machines, virtual machines from VMware or Hyper-V. So if you want to know more, please be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell icon and also follow, follow us on Twitter at techmeout5. Thank you for watching. Peace out.